There are important questions that your real estate broker or agent need to help you answer about access when you're going to buy a parcel. Okay, and this, and I'm talking about in this video, you know, you're you're buying a parcel as an investment or for for a business. I'm not talking about you know buying a single family home here. So, if you're in one of those situations where you're dealing with what we call commercial real estate, uh, your broker should be helping you answer some important questions about access to the parcel. Now, in a previous video. I talked about three of those questions. We'll try and remember to link to that video in the description for those, for those of you folks that are watching on YouTube. But in this video, I wanna talk about three more questions that your broker should be helping you answer about access. So that's six questions total, right? Okay, so here's the next three questions. Here's the first one. Is there restricted access to any of the public roads adjacent to the parcel? Okay, and let's, so let me explain that. Just because your parcel is next to or touches a public road, does not mean you have access to the public road. That's especially true of freeways and highways, but it, it can also apply to local roads. Okay, so in, in many cases, uh, the agency, the public agency that has jurisdiction over those roads has limited the parcel's access to the roads. And they do that for safety reasons. It has to do with the way roads are designed and built, right? So the more driveways you have, the more dangerous the road becomes, especially on higher speed roads. Okay. And so in, in, in many situations, an agency will limit how many points of access you can have and where you can have that access. They will all also do silly things like um, tell you that you can only turn right out of a driveway, that you can't make left turns. So that's called right turn only restrict, restricted access. And that also is, a, is fairly typical depending on where your parcel's at. And so your broker should be helping you answer those questions, right? It seems like a small thing, but you'd be surprised. I've seen real estate um, deals that didn't pencil, <laughs> that, that fell through because of something as simple as a right turn restriction on a driveway. Okay. Here's the second question that your broker should be asking about access is, uh, and it, that is if you depend, if the parcel is going to depend on an easement for access, could it become overburdened or, or could it be overburdened already? Okay. So that's a, that's a very technical question. So let me explain. So if you have a parcel that's landlocked, okay, it doesn't touch a public road, and you use an easement to get to the public road, um, you need to understand under what conditions that easement could become overburdened, right? And you may need a lawyer to help you answer that question. But what, what does that mean when an, an easement is overburdened? What that means is if, if somebody granted an easement for a single family home, let's say, and then somebody puts on uh, five condo towers, they're gonna dramatically increase the number of vehicle trips per day on that easement, right? And the, the, the owner of the property that's burdened by the easement could, in theory, go to court and argue that that is not the right they sold you, that you've overburdened the easement that they've given you, right? And so you wanna make sure if you're buying a parcel that you know where that limit is. If there is a reasonable limit on your use of the access easement, you wanna know that because you don't wanna be in the situation where you're building the condo towers and now you're dealing with the suit over access, okay? So I had a, an example, this came up a few months ago here. I had a, a client that was building a major industrial facility and the parcel was landlocked and their only point of access was uh, through an easement that, that burdened, it actually burdened the homeowners association parcel for the neighboring subdivision. And like, these are folks that were already not gonna be happy about this major industrial facility going in next door. And like this client was gonna be running, you know, a bunch of trucks <laughs> in and out of this road every day. And so I, I told him, I said, hey, you need to talk to your land attorney and you need to look at that because that could be an issue down the road and like your neighbors already don't like you. Okay, so that's something that you're, uh, a question that your broker or your agent can help you answer. Um, and they may, they may need help from an attorney, like I mentioned. Okay, here's the third question. If you are gonna buy a parcel and you have a desire to improve or develop that parcel or change its proposed use, you need to understand what regulatory requirements related to access might apply to that, okay? So as an example, um, if you're gonna go in and develop a parcel, a lot of times the, the agency is gonna require a second driveway or they might want a driveway uh, widened or improved. They may want you to put in a traffic signal. Um, one of the things we run into a lot in Central California is we've got major fire hazards up in the foothills on either side of us the coastal range or the Sierra. And so the agency may want emergency vehicle access. Your, uh, your access road may have to be a certain width and it's possible that that width won't fit in the existing easement. There's all kinds of potential problems that could come up there, right? And so if you're buying a parcel with that intent, 
the intent to develop or to improve, you need to communicate to that to your broker so that your broker can help you answer those questions, right? I've also seen deals, real estate transactions fall through or fail because of those types of problems, right? They, they needed, um, there were regulatory access restrictions that either couldn't be met or gonna, were gonna be too expensive to meet uh, for the project to pencil. So you don't wanna get caught in that situation. So again, I've talked about six questions now that your real estate broker should be helping you answer about access if you're gonna buy a parcel. The last three we just talked about, is there restricted access to the public road? If you depend on an easement for access, could that easement be overburdened? And three, if you're gonna improve or develop the parcel or change its use, what regulatory requirements related to access do you need to think about?